hello welcome to our channel so in today's video we are going to see how to configure sla and sla kpis in dynamic 365 crm customer service so if you are new to sla let's start uh, sla stand for the service level agreement like formal agreement between a service provider and uh, a customer that outline the level of service to be provided think of it as a set of promises that your organization makes to its customers such as responding a case within a specific time or uh, resolving an issue by a certain deadline so just like if i created a new record with this account that iot device is not connecting and if i save it so what you will see here you will see the sla started running so the agent streamline his work that he needs to respond it to customer within the 29 uh, within the 30 minutes and uh, if he con connected with uh, the customer and if he's not able to respond in the 30 minutes then this SLA the service label agreement will fail. So here the success criteria just like uh, agent has responded to the customer and if we select yes and go back and click on save we could see that first response in SLA has been succeeded. So how can we configure it in our Dynamics 365? This is we are going to see in this video. So for that and we have to go because uh, as a technical person we need to do our work in customer service admin center and come here here is a section name as service terms so here we will define our sla kpis and our sla so what are the sla kpis are the key performing indicator are metrics that measure the performance of your sla they attract things like the elapsed time warning before a breach or whether a success criteria are met KPIs give you the insight needed to monitor and improve the team's efficiency, making them an essential part. So we have to create a new SLA KPI. So just name it as Resolve Boy and give that entity name as Case. KPI field select Resolve by KPI and it's applicable when the it's uh, when a case is modified. Okay. Now click on Save and uh, we have to then activate it to be added in a SLA so after doing it go back to the service term and open that SLA so this is the SLA that has been created you could create a new one also but I'm going to add new SLA item here so what are the SLA item uh, these are the individual component of an SLA that defines specific condition action so if we, have, if we need to add more SLA item we have to deactivate it first click on deactivate we could see that uh, the SLA item that is running right now it is applicable when a customer account mm -hmm. annual revenue is greater than one crore mm -hmm. and the success criteria is first response and uh, equals to yes uh, we have to save and close it we need to add we are going to add a new SL item here click on new SL item and name it as resolved by so here we will select this SLA KPIs resolved by and it is applicable let's say when the status season is changed to uh, waiting for the details and the success condition we will add uh, in the real scenario uh, we got the details of the case so we will add it in a description field and if the description field contains data then our SLA will be this SLA item will be succeed now click on save and close to uh, see it run we have to first uh, activate it and then click on set as default also so we could see that uh, the first response for the high revenue customer what will happen if we create a case with the low revenue customer if we open our account and open a record just like a datum corporation so we could see that its annual revenue is only 10,000 so what will happen if we create a case and create a new case with the customer name a datum corporation give it a title like uh, laptop is in charging and uh, we will select a datum corporation and if we uh, save it so uh, we have seen that a datum corporation doesn't have annual revenue more than one crore so we will just save it so you could see that there is no SLA running for this customer and if you change the customer back to the devms key and save it 
then you could see that our SLA started working. So why it's working for the dev If you open the dev record, we could see that it's animal value is two crores, which is more than one crores. And uh, and if you are, if we are going to uh, back to our cases and open that case uh, that uh, laptop isn't charging. So we could say that uh, our first SLA item is working on. And if we want to activate a second SLA item, so for that, our applicable when was uh, status reason is waiting for details. So we'll do that to check that also. If we ch change to applicable when waiting details, if we save it, then our second SLA will start working. So now, as you can see, that it should be should resolve in one hour. So this is how we could set up our SLA and configure it and use it in our cases. So if you want to make them both succeed, we will go to details first and make first response sent to yes. Come back. So this will be succeeded if we save it. The first response in, we will see. And for this one, uh, the success criteria was uh, the description field should have some values. So we have find the root cause. And if we save it, then we will see that resolve in SLA, uh, SLA item will also be succeed. So yeah, as you can see that we have configured SLA and created one SLA item also and SLA KPI is set up. That's how we do it. So if you like our video, please do like and share. And if you have any doubt, please do comment us. Thank you.